peace. My name is Faith and welcome to your 30-minute morning vinyasa flow. For today's class, we'll be moving through poses that inspire gratitude and giving ourselves time to appreciate every moment of our practice. This practice is a wonderful way to manifest gratitude for your day ahead. Let's get started in a comfortable seated position at the back of your mat. You can sit cross-legged or with your hips stacked over your heels. Just taking your time to get comfortable. You can rest your hands on your knees or your thighs. And when you're ready, go ahead and close your eyes. Elongate through your spine, sitting up nice and tall. Taking this time to come into your body, your mind, and your experience here on the mat. Softening the neck, relaxing your shoulders. Noticing your arms laying peacefully by your sides. As you start to find stillness, begin to deepen the breath. Taking deep breaths in through the nose and out through the mouth. With each inhale, noticing the breath bringing you life. And with each exhale, feeling your body sinking deeper into relaxation. Go ahead and open your eyes. From here, we'll move into a wide-legged child's pose. Bring the big toes together, spreading your knees out as wide as is comfortable, and then extending the arms straight out in front of you, allowing your forehead to rest gently on the mat. Taking a few deep breaths here. Feeling your body melt into the surface beneath you. Allowing yourself to be truly present in this space. And as you start your day, open yourself up to love and gratitude. Taking this time to think about all the things you're grateful for. Feeling gratitude for your own life and the many gifts you've been blessed with. Take one more deep breath in, and as you exhale, slowly round yourself up through each vertebra of your spine, coming into tabletop, making sure your shoulders are in line with your wrists, hips are stacked over the knees, and then we'll move through some cats and cows. As you inhale, drop the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round through the upper back, tucking your chin into your chest. Inhale, lift the gaze. Exhale, round through the spine. Keep moving at your own pace. Moving with the breath.
come back to a neutral spine and then extend the arms straight out in front of you, finding puppy pose, planting the forearms down into the mat and relaxing the forehead down, keeping the hips lifted, stacking them over the knees, opening up the heart, breathing deeply. And then slowly lift your chest back up, coming back to tabletop. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, lift the knees, sending the hips up and back for downward facing dog. Pedal out through the feet, bending one knee and then bending the other. And once you're ready, sink both heels down towards the floor, coming back to a neutral downward dog. You can keep a soft bend in the knees here if you're feeling extra resistance in the hamstrings. Grounding down through the palms, relaxing the head and neck. Taking two more breaths here. On your next inhale, lift your heels and slowly begin to walk your feet forward to meet your hands. Inhale to halfway lengthen the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring the hands to heart center. From here, bring both hands behind you, interlacing the fingers. Inhale, extend the elbows, rolling your shoulders back to lift your chest. Exhale, bend your knees and slowly begin to hinge yourself forward. Arms come up and over, relaxing the head down. Getting a nice stretch through the front side of the shoulders. Letting go of any tension in the neck. And then release the hands to the mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat, step back into plank, take your vinyasa, moving through chaturanga. Inhale into upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg up for three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot forward in between the hands, coming into a low lunge. Drop the back knee down, pressing firmly into the front foot as you lift the heart open. And when you're ready, inhale to reach the arms up towards the sky, sinking into the hips, pulling your navel in towards your spine. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, cactus the arms, squeezing the shoulder blades together as you open up through the chest. Inhale, arms reach back up. Exhale, palm the mat, lift the back knee, and then step the left foot back to meet your right, moving into downward dog. Inhale, right leg lifts for three-legged dog. Exhale, step the right foot forward, drop the back knee, low lunge. Grounding down through the right foot, lifting up through the chest. Inhale, reach the arms up and overhead, staying strong with the lower body, engaging your core. Inhale to lengthen up through the spine, Exhale, cactus the arms, bending the elbows and lifting the chest. Inhale, arms reach back up. Exhale, release the hands down, lift the back knee, and then step the right foot back for downward facing dog. 
Taking two deep breaths here. Noticing any changes in your body from the beginning of your practice. Just being mindful of how you feel in this moment. On your next inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, gently step to the top of your mat. Inhale to halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, sweep the arms up, your palms come to touch. Exhale, hands to heart center. Just taking a moment here. Grounding down through all four corners of your feet. Connecting with yourself and the energy within. Inhale, sweep the arms up and overhead. Exhale, hinge from the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palm the mat, step back into plank, take your vinyasa. Moving through Chaturanga. Inhale into Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Downward Facing Dog. Inhale, left leg lifts for Three-Legged Dog. Exhale, bend the knee and open the hips. Left hip is stacked over your right. Holding here for a moment. Pulling that left heel closer towards your glutes. Getting deeper into the hips. Inhale, extend your left leg back up for three-legged dog. Exhale, step the left foot forward in between your two hands. Spin the back heel down, planting it down at a 45 degree angle. Ground down through the left leg. And then inhale to lift the arms up for warrior one. Bending into the left knee, hips stay square to the front of your mat. Draw the navel in towards your spine as you reach the crown of your head up. Softening the shoulders away from the ears. Feeling that strength and stability in the lower body. Take a breath in, lengthen up through the spine, and as you exhale, release the hands behind you, interlacing the fingers. Inhale, roll your shoulders down, extend through the elbows. Exhale, bowing down into Humble Warrior, allowing the torso to come down over your left thigh, bringing that left shoulder towards the left knee, going as far as your body allows. Keep reaching the arms up towards the sky, staying strong through the legs. Inhale, lift yourself back up, leading with the chest. Arms reach back up towards the sky. Place your hands at your hips. Go ahead and straighten out the left leg. Inhale, finding length in the spine. Exhale, hinge forward, moving into pyramid pose. Release the hands, coming onto the fingertips. Inhale to lift the heart. Exhale, fold, relaxing the head down, keeping the hips square. Holding here for a few breaths. You can close your eyes and just notice how your body is responding. Breathing into any resistance. Inhale, lift the chest back up. Exhale, bend into the left knee, Palm the mat, step back into plank. 
making sure your shoulders are in line with your wrists. And then take your vinyasa, moving through chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Take a full breath here, finding your center and your grounding. On your next inhale, lift your right leg up for three-legged dog. Exhale, bend the knee and open the hip. Holding here for a moment. Lift your right leg back up for three-legged dog. And then step it forward, top of the mat, finding warrior one. Back foot spins flat at a 45 degree angle. Grounding down through the right leg. And then inhale to reach the arms up, warrior one. Bending into the right knee, stacking it over your right ankle. Breathing into the belly, staying strong through the legs. And take one more breath here. And then release the hands behind you, interlacing the fingers. Inhale, extending through the elbows, pressing the heart forward. Exhale, coming into humble warrior, releasing the torso over your right thigh, reaching that right shoulder for your right knee. Keep lifting the hands up towards the sky, reaching the crown of your head down towards the mat. Take one more breath. Grounding down through the legs. Inhale to lift yourself back up, extending the arms back up towards the sky. Place your hands at your hips and extend your front leg. Inhale, lengthen up through the spine. Exhale, hinging forward, allowing your torso to drape over your right leg for pyramid pose. Release the hands, come onto the fingertips. Inhale to open the chest, lift your gaze. Exhale, fold, relaxing the forehead down. Softening the shoulders away from the ears. Hips stay square to the front of your mat. Noticing where you're experiencing resistance and using the breath to soften into those areas. Inhale, lift the chest back up. Bend into the right knee and step back into plank. Shoulders are stacked over the wrists. And then take your vinyasa. Moving into chaturanga. Inhale into upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Taking two deep breaths here. Honoring your body and your mind. Coming back to this present awareness. On your next inhale, lift your heels. Exhale, drop to your knees and then bring your thighs and your torso perpendicular to the mat. Preparing for camel pose. Bring your knees hip width distance apart and place your hands onto your low back. Inhale to lengthen up through the spine, rolling your shoulders back. And then as you exhale, tuck your chin into your chest and slowly press your hips forward as you start to lean back. You can stay here or you can grab your heels one at a time. You can tuck your toes to make this easier for you. 
And then once you've made it there, softly press the tops of your feet into the mat and then send the hips forward. Keeping your chest broad and open, you can drop the head back if that feels comfortable for your neck. Breathing deeply into the ribs, opening up through your heart center. To release, tuck the chin back in towards your chest, placing your hands back onto your low back. And then leading with the chest, slowly lift yourself back up, head and neck come up last. When you're ready, send the hips down and bring yourself into a child's pose. Relaxing your arms alongside your body with your palms face up. Forehead comes down onto the mat. Coming back to your breath. Feeling that gentle release in the neck and the upper back. Relaxing your shoulders. Softening the facial muscles. And then gently bring yourself back up onto all fours. Cross your ankles and then bring yourself into a comfortable seated position with the legs crossed in front of you. Grounding down through your sit bones, finding a nice tall spine. Place your right hand behind you. Inhale, lift your left arm up towards the sky. Exhale, twist to the right, placing your left hand to your right knee. Engaging your core muscles, twisting from the belly. And then come through center, taking it to the other side. Left hand comes behind you. Inhale to reach your right arm up. Exhale, twisting to the left, right hand to your left knee. Twisting from the belly, relaxing the shoulders away from your ears. Keep lifting up through the spine. And then gently come back to center, finding a neutral spine. From here, we'll bring the soles of the feet together, coming into butterfly pose. Allow your knees to fall open to either side, grabbing either your toes, your ankles, or your shins. Inhale to lengthen the crown of your head up towards the sky. And then as you exhale, hinge from the hips and come into a forward fold, stopping at a point that is most comfortable for you. Pulling the shoulders away from the ears, and relaxing the head and neck. Staying here for a few deep breaths. Observing your body. Observing your mind. Giving yourself this opportunity to let go and release. And when you're ready, slowly lift yourself back up. And then gently bring yourself to lie all the way down onto your back. Coming into our final posture. You can take a traditional Shavasana with the legs extended. Or you can keep the soles of your feet together in Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly. Relax your arms alongside your body with your palms face up and gently close the eyes. Allow your attention to rest gently on the breath. Noticing the inhale 
and noticing the exhale. Relax your face, your shoulders, your belly and your legs. Giving your body and your mind this opportunity to completely let go. And as you continue to breathe, really feel yourself as you are naturally. Expressing gratitude for yourself, your health, your wisdom, and your kindness. Just being thankful for who you truly are. You are here. You are present. You are everything the world needs. You can stay here longer if you wish. Otherwise, start to find small movements in your body. Gently wiggle your fingers and your toes. Draw the knees together and then give yourself one last big stretch, reaching the arms up and overhead, extending the legs. And when you're ready, bend the knees, rolling over to one side, coming into a fetal position. And then gently pressing yourself up into a comfortable seated position, keeping the eyes closed. And just spending a moment here in gratitude Thanking your body and your mind for carrying you through this practice. And giving thanks to anything and everything you can think of. On your next inhale, reach your arms up, bringing the palms together. Exhale, bring your hands to heart center. Bowing down to yourself, thanking yourself for your beautiful practice here today. And as you transition into the rest of your day, may you find the time to fully express feelings of gratitude. Sending you love and light. Namaste.